Hello everyone, I'm back and today I feel like this is the biggest topic that I've talked about so far. It's not like drama, it's more information. I would like to be one of the people that speak out about this because I feel the frustration and the anger that Zoe and Alfie must be feeling at this moment in time. Um, I feel very sorry for them. I feel like, yes, I understand they're famous and I understand that people want to meet them, but I feel like people need to learn what boundaries are. You wouldn't want people showing up at your house. Anyway, I'm not going to start on that because otherwise I'm going to ruin the point of the video. So, should we get started? I'm here to basically tell you what's going on because something's going on. Uh, so... We thought that, so, right, by the way, I don't want to get in any sort of trouble and I don't want people to start thinking copywriting. I just, I know that some people don't like to read information, so I'm here to, like, read it to you. Uh, I did get some of the information from We The Unicorns. I'm sure you know that website. Uh, I'm not claiming it as my own. I'm just here to tell you the facts. So, we thought we'd heard the last of the selfie house drama after the pair had stayed quiet about the issues in 2015, which was fair to them. They just sort of took some time off. Good for them. Uh, we saw the pair hit out at both fans and journalists who were revealing their home address uh, on social media and then later they were turning up at their house. I mean, there needs to be some boundaries. Anyway, fans of the pair went crazy and hit back at the people uh, who thought it was acceptable to knock at their door uh, just for the fact, just for the sake of getting an autograph, getting a selfie and just meeting like their favourite YouTubers. Uh, which, you know, you think people would know the boundaries anyway. But, okay, so with all the press attention around their security issue uh, and dedicated fans rallying against who were turning up at the property, uh, everything eventually seemed to calm down for Zoe and Alfie that year and they kind of just went back to living normally. But recently, and right, recently things have taken a different turn and in fact, uh, pretty certain they've taken a turn for the worst. Uh, Alfie stated that people were taking tours past their house so they could visit the Zelfi pad. Tours, tour buses, people stopping, you know, like, oh, let's go on a tour. To I mean, it's not uh, in a serious, right? So, in a load of tweets, Alfie did say, People outside the house doing a tour of Brighton and one of right, people outside the house are doing a tour of Brighton and one of the stops is legit our house. It's so not okay. Then Alfie went on to claim that a girl was sunbathing on the pavement outside their home earlier in the day in the hope of possibly getting an autograph. I mean, what the hell is that? Where are the boundaries here? Uh, the vlogger star, as in Alfie, then threatened to hire someone to stand at the front door with a super soaker and soak anyone who waits outside the house. Uh, fair enough. Um, da -da -da. I'll insert some tweets if I can find them. Uh, and then, as you would have expected, Alfie's fans shown their support and dismay that a company would make money from breaching the security of both Zoe and Alfie, because obviously if they're touring, then they're willing to just give up where they live and... I just don't think that that is fair at all. I mean, come on, people. Like, there is there is definitely, definitely boundaries. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Fellow YouTubers also shared their shock with, the, with uh, for example, Emma Blackberry, uh, Evan, and Victoria from In The Fro, and they tweeted Alfie uh, with advice, which, you know, of course... He, as, so Evan said WTF, Susie said, <laughs> words, Susie said, I've lost it, I don't know what Susie said, Susie said, being paid to water gun people is a dream job, I'll do it, <laughs> and Emma said, find out what that company is and seriously get a case and a de desist notice, this is absolutely awful, and you know what, it is, I, I, I agree with her, I really think that they need to take some legal action because it shouldn't be okay and it sucks because no matter where they go, there is always going to be somebody who finds their address and is creepy outside their house and people just need to leave them alone. Like, just give them some damn space. Let them breathe. They're kind enough to you when they get mobbed in the streets. They don't even go out that much because they get mobbed in the streets. And it's like, they just have this little place to call their own and it's being invaded by everybody and it's just not fair. <sighs> okay. Zoe herself is yet to tweet about the issue, but obviously she must have been affected. 
because it's her private privacy too. Uh, she has said though, or well, apparently that the paparazzi have been hanging outside her home and following in her, following her in her car. Like, I mean, we hope that Zoe and Alfie can feel comfortable in their own home soon, and that the fans and the media and the companies will back off and leave them alone. And uh, also, let's just hope that like people learn what privacy is. I mean, it just sucks. I I wanted to speak out because I don't think it's fair. And even if like obviously everybody knows because Alfie has been speaking about it like not really wanting to but he has because it's becoming a big issue and people like I mean I first of all I would not want anybody showing up at my house ever second of all if people were touring outside my house I would be so angry and like they don't want to pack up and leave that's their home and that's their life you shouldn't be intruding on their life do you know what I'm saying like get some boundaries people and like respectfully get some boundaries because um obviously he's not being nasty about it and he's being as nice as he possibly can be in fact he's almost being too nice because this just should not be happening it's insane and he does say he does state that it's only a very small number of people but that small number of people i mean they get more and more well known every day and that just means that there's the potential that that small number could just grow and carry on and then it could become more than small and they shouldn't have to you know sacrifice their lives uh, outside of YouTube for the sake of uh, staying away from you guys I mean meet them in the street meet them at their meet and greets meet them when they come to some sort of vlogger thing just leave them alone until then you know what I'm saying just give them some space let them breathe they don't deserve this they work bloody hard believe me they work hard and I just poor them I mean I would not want to get up and be like oh someone's outside my house oh someone's looking over my wall oh I have absolutely no privacy I can't wear what I want in my house and be comfortable because there's probably somebody taking a picture through the window just saying I don't think that it's fair and I would never throw shade against Zoe and Alfie because I think that what they're doing is right in fact I to be uh, from my own opinion I think that they should be pressing charges but if they choose not to, that's not none of my concern. I just wanted to say that I thoroughly agree with what's what's being said by them, and also the fact that it's still happening is absolutely ridiculous. People just need, I'm repeating myself, people need to get a grip. Whoo, and breathe. Uh, disclaimer, I am not here. I like I said, I I find this information, but it doesn't mean it's mine doesn't mean it's come from me I'm just here to relay it back to you guys and I just enjoy talking about it and I'm not here to like spread gossip and to spread rumors I just want to talk about the facts that I have found and if you didn't like I'll just sit here and when I find facts I'm interested I want to know I mean we're all nosy aren't we there's nothing that we can do about it uh, so for you nosy people out there just like me I hope you enjoyed this and if you and there will be more videos like this in the future so don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe because it's free and uh, I'm sure I'll be back with more very very soon and I hope you're enjoying these videos where you just sort of find out stuff that you probably didn't know or you did know and you're watching anyway anyway <laughs> stop talking okay I'll see you very soon bye